Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see how the runtime architecture will be when you submit a PySpark job. So we all know that in the Spark uh, cluster, we have a one driver, then some cluster manager, it can be Yarn or Mesos or whatever, and then we will have some worker nodes and inside the worker nodes, we will have the executors. So in this cluster, let's say if you are submitting one Spark submit, I mean one PySpark job using the Spark submit. So from one client machine when you are submitting it, the request comes to driver. Then from the driver, the application in the Spark application, you will have either Spark context or Spark session, which will negotiate the resources from the cluster manager. We will assume that that is Yarn in this case. And based on that, uh, the details will be sent back to the driver. Then based on the resource negotiation that whatever the configuration that we have received based on that the application must again it will request yarn manager resource manager the driver will again request yarn resource manager so that based on that application master container will be created in one of the worker nodes this we already know and there was one very detailed video is available on this topic okay so now for any Scala application, if you take in the AM container, the main method will be there and then this uh, like AM container will distribute the task to the worker nodes. In the worker nodes, we will have JVMs in the within the executors. <coughs> we will have the JVMs which are Java virtual machines to perform the tasks which are like in the job whatever uh, Spark. Um, in the spark job whatever task we have right so this will perform the task and the results will be sent back to the driver so we know this what this is what will happen in the spark job normal spark job if we are submitting the pi spark job so friends actually in recent interviews they are asking about this in the interview questions like how exactly pi spark job will be submitted what will happen in the runtime and what is the runtime architecture of the pi spark so this is the answer for all these questions okay so when you submit one PySpark job in the cluster the same way the yarn resource manager it will it will um, negotiate the resources and back to the driver everything is same now let's come to the am container okay in the am container usually we will have the main method so along with that it will have python driver also if it is PySpark job and also the python code will be executed by the python workers in this worker nodes now the question is like uh, we all know spark is written in scala correct so how the code will be uh, compiled python code will be compiled correct so if you see on the spark core which is implemented by scala right there is a java wrapper api on top it's implemented on top of the spark core we have a java wrapper and then on top of that we have python wrapper api created inside the code okay internal to the code spark code which we cannot we, we can i think see in the git as well but on top of the spark core we have java wrapper on top of that we have python wrapper which will understand the python code that we are sending for the compilation this is how using that python wrapper the code will be compiled python code will be compiled now for example if your pyspark application has simple pyspark code just using the data frames or any any something which which is not very specific to python but mostly specific to the spark right that code will be executed in the main method in the aim container and only in the jvms within the workers because anyway we have the java and python wrappers and pi 4j application is already there internally in the wrappers so that the python code can be like whatever pi spark code that we are sending it will be able to understand and it will be able to compile but let's say you have some 
python specific code python specific libraries i mean to say python specific libraries and some python udfs user defined functions in that case our normal java wrapper or python wrapper will not be able to understand that or convert that into normal understandable code to the spark core so what will happen is in such case am container will create the python workers as well so that that code will be executed in the python workers only the python specific libraries or python specific udfs are submitted then that will be executed in the python workers for normal application like for any scala spark or even the spy spark with only like very um, specific to pi spark um, uh, like coding then all these things will be executed within the available jvms so friends this is the runtime architecture of a pi spark job you can explain these points in the interview this is enough okay yeah thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning